Today we're going to be taking a look at your best trailer hitch options for your 2011 Ford Explorer. Up top we have the eTrailer.com hitch. Here in the center this is the Kurt hitch and down here at the bottom is the draw tight hitch. We found that the draw tight is going to have the highest weight capacity rating. Also when it comes to towing you found that the draw tight is going to be the best choice there. When it came to the appearance of the hitches, we found that the eTrailer.com hitch is going to look the best. And we found a few differences in between all these hitches. The first one is going to be the actual weight capacity that these hitches can handle. Now the eTrailer.com and the Kurt hitch, they're going to be the exact same. They're going to have a maximum tongue weight rating of 400 pounds, which adds the amount of downward pressure on the receiver tube opening. They're also both going to have a maximum gross trailer weight rating of 4,000 pounds. So that's the amount of weight pulling on it. So the how much your trailer weighs plus anything you might have on it. Now the draw tight has a little bit higher of a rating. Its maximum tongue weight rating is 675 pounds and the maximum gross trailer weight rating is 4,500 pounds. If you're going to be using your hitch with the weight distribution system, all three hitches are going to be equal. They're all going to have the same amount of weight capacity. But if you're not going to be using it with the weight distribution system, your draw tight is going to have an advantage because it can carry and support more weight. Now when using a class 3 accessory, the draw tight is going to give you a little more flexibility as far as the weight goes. Say if you have a cargo carrier, you can load it up a little bit heavier. Or if you're towing a trailer, it can be a little bit heavier as well. Now another difference we found is in regards to towing. The draw tight is going to have a slight advantage in this category, mainly because of the style of safety chain loops. As you can see, the openings are very large. And so depending on what size safety chain loop you have, you shouldn't have any issue getting it to fit inside of there with no interference issues with your pen. As you can see here with the fairly large loop and a long pen, it's really easy to get everything put on. Now our Kurt and e-trailer are going to be the exact same style. And as you can see, there's just not quite as much room. We'll put our pen in. See, it does make some interference. However, it's still going to get the job done just fine. It's just going to be a little less convenient. Now, as we all know, when you're towing a trailer, you're going to need your lights to work for it. Now, the draw tight has a bracket welded to the tube that has a spot to mount your wiring for your lights. It's nice and convenient to have that already there. Now, you can get a bracket for both e-trailer and Kurt's hitch. So it's not that huge of a deal. Like I said earlier, it's just convenient it's already there. Now if your wiring is going to be living inside your car, you may like the cleaner look of the Kurt and the e-trailer. Another slight difference that the draw tight has is it has a hole that can be utilized for use with a J-Pen. Now the J-Pen is going to eliminate any play in between your connection point from your receiver tube opening and your shank. Now keep in mind that they do sell stabilization devices that will work with the Kurt and the e-trailer hitch to accomplish the same thing. Kind of like the bracket, it's just convenient that it's already there on the draw tight. And another difference I noticed was in the hitch's finish. The e-trailer.com hitch is going to have a triple coated matte black carbide finish. So this is going to stand up to the elements really well. It's not going to be able to get scratched or scuffed uh, as easily as the other two. And depending on your application, it could blend in a little bit better and not stand out because of how glossy it is. Now other than the finish, they're all going to look and fit pretty much exactly the same. Here on our Explorer today, we have the draw tight installed. As you can see, the tube comes and contours nicely with the vehicle's lines and for the most part stays pretty hidden. You can really only see the receiver tube opening and just 
a few inches of the actual tube itself. And ultimately, when it comes to appearance, it's really just your personal preference what matters. And all three of these are pretty much going to meet your towing and recreational needs. It all pretty much just boils down to your personal preference. Now, if I had to pick one of these hitches for my own Explorer, I personally would go with the eTrailer.com hitch. And I would choose it because of its finish. The finish is really tough and from my experience stands up to the elements really well. It will stay looking good for a long time. And that will do it for our look at the best trailer hitch options for your Ford Explorer. We hope this information is helpful when deciding which hitch to purchase for your Ford Explorer.